In today's Carolina Has Heart, we are recognizing an incredible woman who is raising awareness on heart health. And since today is Go Red for Women, we wanted to share her story to help others recognize the signs and symptoms. I would kind of live from ultrasound to ultrasound. Lauren Dungan had a normal pregnancy with her daughter. So when she got pregnant with her son, she wasn't expecting what doctors told her at the eight week ultrasound. They told me that his heart rate was very low. However, I had about a 50-50 shot that he would survive. Lauren and her husband, Evan, took it week by week. You want to comfort and say, hey, it's going to be OK, but you don't necessarily know that at the end of the day. Every week, he held on. When Hunter was born, a healthy baby boy, the couple finally felt like they could breathe a sigh of relief. But five days later, Lauren was home with her newborn, and something didn't feel right. All of a sudden had this intense pressure like right on my chest. You immediately try to think of well, what could it possibly be? It's got to be something that's not serious. She went about her day. The pressure had not subsided and it was really something I couldn't ignore. Evan drove his wife to their local hospital. What happens from there? It was pretty terrible. Her local ER immediately rushed her by ambulance to the main hospital that had a cath lab. And what they told her was shocking. I'm sorry to inform you, but you've had a heart attack. Lauren was just 33 years old, and she was going to need a double bypass surgery. I had a SCAD, which stands for Spontaneous Coronary Artery Dissection. Doctors rushed over to Evan. We need to get you back here. We need to get you to sign some forms so we can do surgery on her, because if you don't, she could die. The thought of having to raise those two kids by myself is just just terrifying. Lauren was taken back around 10:45 a.m. and she was finally finished around 6 p.m. It was hard being by yourself for that while. Evan says the doctors would come out every hour for an update. They told me that I am extremely lucky. The fact that when I went to the first emergency room, they took me seriously. Um, I'm young. I don't look like somebody that would have a heart attack. Lauren spoke at the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women luncheon as a survivor. And she's even started a local survivor group on Facebook to connect other women who have been through the same thing. I want everyone to understand that heart disease it can affect you at any age. Um, you know, young or old, it really doesn't matter. Just because you take really great care of yourself doesn't mean that you aren't still vulnerable. 